Hi guys, what's going on? And welcome back to a new episode of Rob's Mods. The build begins. Hi guys, what's going on? Welcome back, and it actually is day one that we actually start working on this beast. Um, it's going to be a good day. It's not too bad today. It's clear, cloudy, ain't going to rain. Hopefully it doesn't. But um, yeah, I mean, me and Frosty's in the shower at the moment. We're going to start some work on a get her out to scratch. I'm um, going to start with today, the engine bay. Um, obviously, I'll show you that in a minute. But, you know, we're going to give it a clean and that, see how the paint's looking and everything, polish her off a bit, get her looking nice. And as well, start with the paint on the engine bay parts and that. We're going to get back around to the... Um, show you guys get back around to the uh exhaust just down there get it tightened up in the bracket and everything make sure it's all all nice and driving and um yeah let's begin right guys so why frosty is doing his interior clean and um his job for today i'm going to be focusing on the paint on the engine work obviously as you can see david has got a, a lovely gold paint that he's put on the k n induction kit but um, I want to take that gold and bring it to the exhaust heat shield at the back. As you can see, it's currently a uh, mountain yellow, which is it's quite nice. It's a lovely colour. And some of the pipes at the back, he's got yellow as well. But I want to take the gold from the K&N filter and bring it onto this to make it pop. And, I mean, I might even go um, for the coolant cover and obviously the brake fluid cover as well. I might get them gold, um, well, or maybe a nice chrome cap, stuff like that. But today I'm going to focus on the paint of the, of the um, engine bay itself and getting that nice and popping. And as well, we come around to the back of the exhaust. So obviously, nice Miltec exhaust system, but as you can see, if you give it a wiggle, then a nice uh, metal squeaking sound through the middle. Uh, as you can tell, it's a, bit, it's a bit loose at the moment, but that's just due to uh, a bracket in the middle, just not tightened up enough. So focus on the engine bit today and just get this exhaust tightened up and make sure it's not wobbling underneath the car. See you guys in a bit. So as well guys, as well, obviously I know David would only put the best of the best fluids into his car. I mean, we've me and Frosty's checked over everything and you know, the brake fluid's fine, steering fluid's good. Um, coolant fluid, as you can see, is on min, so that'll need topping up a bit and you know, a bolt in here as well and just fixed up so it, it's not wobbling as much. Obviously you can see how easy it comes off, but we'll get that in, new bolt, top it all up a bit, but um, yeah, so just make sure the en engine's got the best of the best fluids running just to, you know, keep it running well. So obviously as we're going to be painting the heat shield as well, we're also going to be, like I said, painting these gold. So we're going to get these off now, plug them up with tissue so obviously no dirt and stuff gets inside and do that. Obviously remember, whenever you take off a coolant cap, do it slowly because pressure comes back up and you don't want this spurging away in your face. If you haven't got tissue paper or anything, it doesn't matter, but just try to, it'll be alright if you don't cover it, but try to get it covered up because you don't want leaves and stuff falling inside. And just like that, they're ready to go. And also, I'd mention as well, while we're doing the caps and obviously going with the whole gold theme, might as well do the dipstick as well. So I'm just pull that off. So obviously get it out, give it a wipe off so it's clean. So stick that, stick that over here. And then yet again, just a small bit of tissue paper, just to plug it up, so no debris or anything gets inside. And then just like that, we're ready to go. Right guys, so I've just got all. It was six bolts in the end. We've got all of them off, so it's time to get that heat shield off. Just like that, it comes off nice and easy. Not nice and easy, I'm lying, it's temperamental as hell, but it is nice. But also, I might, while we're here, I might show you guys the um, exhaust manifold. That's quite nice, it's smart looking. Yeah, that's it? nice, yeah. a smart looking manifold, but um, yeah, we've got the heat shield off now, so it's time to give it a clean up with some um, white spirit, get it nice and clean, and you know, I was going to sand it down and prime it and everything, but I think it'd be alright just paint it straight over. 
Uh, let me know what you guys think, but you know, we'll look at the end product and see how it goes. So a bit of white spirit on there, just to get all the dirt and debris off. So guys, to start painting off the heat shield, we've got the golden paint that our good friend David gave to us. Um, also, I can see from the drips, it's a lovely gold, but I'm going to crack it open. We've got a um, Ron Seal paintbrush, by the looks of it. A nice paintbrush, dip it in, I'm going to go do a nice two, three layers. Um, it's all shiny, it's all cleaned up, ready to go, um, and I'll paint it now, see what it looks like. So if we get this top of the paint open, giving it a shake in already, but look at that. That is some lovely gold paint ready to go on air. It's going to be great. Also guys, I um, forgot to add just a quick one, this paint as well can resist a lot of heat so it will be absolutely fine on the heat shield but as you can see there it's going on lovely, I'm just going to get a first base coat on, let it dry and then we'll go from there but that gold colour absolutely pops and looks stunning. Now as you guys can see that's the first coat on and the gold just pops, it looks lovely, I think Frosty's happy. Yeah I like that, it's looking nice isn't it? the next coat, next might take coat. a while, we don't know. Might take a while, but that's how it's starting to look, so you can get a rough idea. Beautiful. So guys, it's all about getting a bit of heat on there, nice hair dry, just to dry it up quicker. Gives it a nice shiny finish. Look at that, it's lovely gold, and it is looking lovely. So as you can see there guys, the um, heat shield is looking absolutely beautiful. Look at that nice gold. With the um, if I can get in close to the uh, nice brush finish on there as well, so it looks absolutely beautiful. But as well, if you look at the um, the caps as well, obviously there's only one layer at the moment, but look at all the brush, um, they're, they're coming out absolutely stunning, and I think it's gonna be a nice finish to the engine bay. Well, not finished yet, but a nice touch to the engine bay, getting it all gold, and I'll show you what it looks like after the, the end. Right, so the caps and everything and the heat shield is just, well, it's nearly completely dry, just a couple more minutes to let it just finish off. But we're top up everything so it's all nice and fresh. Let's start off with the screen wash. And try not to get it all over the battery. Just put it all in, mate. Yeah. Obviously, I won't fill it right to the top because there is no cap. Oh bloody hell, there's quite a lot in there. Lovely. Obviously for a quick temporary lid, um, never do this but we don't have one. I've got some, I think it's wiring tape, but just throw some of that on just to stop it going away over the engine because that's the last thing we want. I think a bit on the outside should finish it off just until we get a new cap for it. This looks stupid, <laughs> but it's going to stop it going all over the wires in it, so it's better than nothing. Temporary screen wash cap. Now, as I said before, obviously the coolant at the moment is sitting on the min line, as you can see just there. So, obviously, the ideal place you want it is directly in the middle between the max and min. So, we'll go ahead and do that now. A little bit of uh, antifreeze summer coolant. Triple X, triple QX, sorry.
just there is perfect. I know it didn't add a lot, but it's always ideal to keep the levels of all your fluids in the right place they want to be. It, it just helps your engine out at the end of the day. You don't want it to run dry and, you know, it's always better to um, do it now than to not do it and you'd end up pay paying for it later, so. Right, so here's the heat shield. Um, it looks beautiful. Obviously, there's a couple of minor details I've missed out, but you're never going to be able to get it perfect. So let's get her in, see how she looks. So that's her in there. Just got to sit it in properly, nice and easy. do now is I'll go ahead and um, put the screws back in and tighten it down and then I'll show you the finished product. Right guys so it's been a really good productive day me and Frosty has just you know spent a good day on this car Frosty's obviously done the interior and worked this fucking absolute beautiful magic inside and the engine bay is actually done with all the gold as you can see all the caps are all gold and the um, heat shield is now gold and um, you know matches beautifully with the induction kit um, I think it makes the engine bed, gives it that extra pop and, you know, tell us what guys, especially tell us what you think, but I don't know, we think it looks lovely, it looks nice yeah, like that. Yeah. Mine's us off the um, Duema of Skyrim, if any of you guys play that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, it looks nice, but that is the finished product of the gold paint. So, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in episode three.